Well, I'm sure it's not here. <laughs> <laughs> And these PlayStation uh, games? Um, hmm. <laughs> what time have I read this text message from him? Uh, what are we looking at, darling? PlayStation goes with Pit Fiver. As I say, it's not These two then. Oh, cheers, thanks a lot. Yes, God, you're so demanding. <laughs> The PlayStation 2 is a 50 
How much do you manage, Kerry? Boxes are a bit slightly. Yeah. Just closed the shop down, so. Is that new as well? Yes. Yeah, 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 they're the ones I bought. Remember, I got Joy Condre. You've got to watch it. I've seen yeah, it on, on eBay, some of them are fakes. Yo, you've got to be careful. You yeah, be so I mean, careful, I noticed, um, yeah. I think it was something like this that got patterned around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number today, too. Uh, 50p and the others, uh, if you can have those two for 50p. It's Lara Croft. Yeah. How's it going, people? Welcome back. Um, yeah, Sunday car boot video. 
Got some stuff, as you can see. Um, yeah, it was freezing again this morning, minus two. Ah, not fun, but still, when it warmed up, we started finding some stuff. So let's get into what we found. Uh, that Hogwarts Astronomy Tower, we picked that up. Uh, it's used, so might not be complete. Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll have to check that. I have the Great Hall so on in my glass display, which is quite cool. So yeah, we'll see if that will fit in there as well, depending on how tall it is. But twenty pound for that, so that's pretty good. Um, then some gaming bits. Picked up a couple of PSP games. We got uh, Vice City Stories and Gran Turismo. Two pound fifty each on those. Uh, I've recently picked up a PSP, so. Yes, trying to pick up a few titles. Then these titles we bought either 50p or a pound. The Wii game was definitely one pound. And then Shadow the Hedgehog. I think all of these are complete. This one's missing the map though. Vice City. Uh, Shrek Super Slam. Monsters Inc. Scare Island and the first getaway game and also uh, Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness so yeah still picking up PS2 games when I see them for a good price I wonder if there'll ever be the day where we we're glad to see PS2 games at the car boot still glad to see them uh, you know some of the better titles I'd class these as alright titles and non-sport, so yeah, they're alright. Then some figures. What have we got here? A couple of gladiators. Then we got Cobra and the Wolfman. Yeah, I always watched this on a it was on a Saturday night, wasn't it? With Ulrika Johnson and uh, John Fashnew. I liked um Quite like Shadow, is it Shadow? Yeah, and uh, obviously the Wolfman was quite funny. But uh, got this Bendy figure, Robin, in his vintage attire. Uh, a movie turtle. I think this is an unofficial one. There's no markings at all on it, but um, have one of the official movie turtles. It's Probably a bit, this is a bit lighter, but still pretty decent to be fair. Still quite well made. A couple of Rugrats pencil toppers. It's got the names on the bottom, look. It's quite handy. We've got Susie and Kimmy. And then some Wallace and Gromit figures. Yes, got these. I think all well these bits here were 150 I think or two pounds and the turtle was 50p and the gladiators were a pound for both of them. These four came in the bag and you wanted four pounds for the bag. I only really wanted the white ranger because this was quite a, a sought after figure at one point, this like metallic one. It's quite well jointed, articulated. We yeah, didn't really want these but nah. uh, Iron Man in whatever suit I have no idea. Is this the uh, Zeo Ranger, Red Ranger? Not too familiar with the newer ones. But you probably shouldn't have bought that to be honest. Yeah, probably shouldn't have. Uh, got a feel but the fox. Uh, Leicester City Football Club mascot. It's pretty good. These aren't cheap in the you buy them in the uh, the merchandise uh, shop at the, at the football grounds. Yeah, they're not cheap. Um, so we've got him for a pound, I think. And then some cheap PS2 games. These are all fifty pence. So got Burnout Revenge. 
uh, Spider-Man 2. I think all complete as well. Some uh, wrestling titles. Smackdown vs Raw 07. 06. Smackdown vs Raw. And here comes the pain. And then a few more here. Actually got the sequel to the getaway that I picked up earlier on. Uh, Black Monday. I think they both have the uh, original map and poster thing. And then uh, Tomb Raider Legend. Uh, Scarface. And Buzz the Big Quiz. And some guy had these uh, like gaming memorabilia bits. Some Tomb Raider iron on patches. 20 years an icon. And these um Doom Doom Eternal things. I've no idea what you do with them. Because they're not like a key ring or anything. But um they're just like rubber things that you dot about, I guess. Yeah, but yeah. Got those bits. They're cheap. Cheap as chips. And then this guy, I bought these bits of him. Two Tamagotchis. I think 2004. Yeah, 2004 Tamagotchis. So yeah, seven pound for those two. Star Wars celebrations keyring. So yeah, the like that convention thing that they do for the Star Wars. I just got the date on the back. To uh, July the thirteenth to fifteenth, oh seven, XL London. And then this Megazord, which for some reason is in a case. And it's all taped up, so I can't... How the hell's he done that? Oh, it's wrapped in sellotape. But yeah, the Megazord figure. Seven quid for all those. So, that was alright. Then, found this football sticker album. Found a few of these in the past. 97. It's incomplete. It's pretty complete though, because his Arsenal is, is all the players are there for the Arsenal. Who was the best team in '97? It's probably either Arsenal, wasn't it, or um, Man United probably at the time. But it was only a pound, so I grabbed it. And then a few more games. Yeah, the guy, the game trader was there. I've known this guy quite a while. I've seen him. Uh, Seen him there a few times, so went through his DS games. Got this one because it just looked interesting. It's Tofu Collection <laughs> for a pound. Oh my god. Stretch and ping through 200 challenging trials. It's made by Red. What is it? Rising Star Games. But yeah, Tofu Collection. These were a bit of an impulse buy. I wouldn't. It was just because they were there. Um, so I got that and Garfield's Nightmare. Looks quite nice. Yeah, it's a kids' game, but um, is it a bit of a platformer? It might be. Boulder Dash rocks. Boulder Dash is a classic, but I'm not sure about this version. Tetris ended up getting for a fibre. Uh, it's one I've been wanting to get. I probably could have got it at CX, but ah, I grabbed it today. Why not? And then these two were actually a bit of a bargain. This one's in the wrong case, which would ring alarm bells to start with, but I think it's a, a legitimate one. But it's in a thin white case, but it all looks uh, official. But it's Ivy the Kiwi, 
which um cheapest one I could see was about fifteen pounds. Says from uh the creator of Sonic. Looks what a cool little game actually. Um and then this one um the cover looked quite cool. Oops. And it's a f made published by 505, but it's uh, I think it's developed by Atlas Games. So, will you manage to get out the labyrinth? Use the Nintendo DS stylus to hit with the sword and to cast spells. Use the microphone to interact with the game. I've never played a game that uses the microphone, to be fair. But yeah, it looked interesting, and I think the cheapest one I could find was about twenty pounds. But yeah, it's in really nice condition. I got did worry there. I did panic there for a second, split second. But yeah, it looks to be all there. So yeah, that was good. Good find as well for two pound. So yeah, they were all the picks for today. Hopefully, you've got some footage as well that I'd probably have inserted at the start. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.